Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and welcome to another video. We're going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial today, and I uh, hope this one will be uh, encouraging to you guys and, and hopefully uh, pretty simple to do as well. Uh, the idea I have is pretty, pretty basic here. Uh, the idea is that we're going to have a, a little sheep here. There's my little sheep with its little legs. And uh, there's going to be a sheep here, and there's going to be like in the background, there's going to be um, a cross, you know, just a, a typical uh, cross scene, like on a hill or whatever. Um, and then on top of the um, actual uh, sheep, we're going to put like uh, some different colors, and we're going to put like um, a map of the world. That's kind of like the idea here is have like these little uh, green and blue uh, little uh, spots where the uh, the map of the world is at, and it's going to be kind of a surreal picture. And uh, hopefully it'll be uh, pretty interesting when we're done with it. So that's really much all I've got for my sketch. And so what I want to do is I want to go and find some stock images. So I did go to um, a couple of my favorite uh, stock image websites like uh, Pixabay and Unsplash.com. And I got a few of uh, these images. Here's the first one I got, this picture of a little sheep or little lamb. Uh, so we're going to use that one first. Um, I just went to uh, Pixabay and just searched for sheep and uh, found this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this guy in here and just kind of stick him right here down at the bottom. Sounds good to me. Now, we need a picture of a cross in the background as well. <clears throat> Something that you could probably just paint. Uh, but there was a uh, cross image on unsplash.com. I found this one. I thought this one would be uh, pretty good as well. So I'm just gonna copy this one and bring this in here. I just searched for cross on Unsplash. You can find lots of pictures, um, but this one right here will work. Um, and then also I needed a picture of some clouds because there's not really many clouds visible in this image. Um, so I found this picture of clouds on Unsplash. So we'll go ahead and bring this one in as well. And then the last one I needed was a picture of a globe or, a, you know, kind of a map of the world. Um, and so this one right here, this this picture is a, a pretty common picture. I think it is a, originally a NASA picture, uh, but you can find this on stock images like uh, Pixabay or Unsplash or even go to the NASA website and find this one as well. So I think these are the four images that we need. I don't think we're gonna need any more than that, uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So based on our little sketch here, uh, this is what I want to do. And so I need to be able to merge uh, this cross background uh, with this sheep background, uh, sheep image. So let's try to do that. Uh, so what I want to do first is I want to go to my sheep image uh, down here, and I'm going to, um, Go to my selection tool over here, my object select tool. I'm going to do click select subject. And what it's going to do is going to select uh, this um, this sheep right here pretty well. <clears throat> Not perfect. If you zoom in, <clears throat> it didn't get everything perfectly, uh, but it did pretty good. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and fix this little selection down here. It looks like it's getting some of these grass blades. And so I'm just going to get rid of some of these little blades here. But for the most part, did pretty good on all the hair and the face and the ears, a little bit right in here. Didn't do so well, but uh, for the most part, it's not a bad selection. It's not a bad selection at all. I'll, I'll be happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that sheep. So Control C on your keyboard and then Control Shift and V. We'll paste it on a brand new layer. We'll just call this sheep and um, make sure we save our project here. Now what we want to do is we want to take that cross picture and we want to put the cross picture behind the sheep. So let's go and put that behind the sheep and let's make sure that our composition is right. Now, uh, this is on a hill so that the hill is gonna be above the sheep's head. So I'm thinking just roughly somewhere right in here will be pretty good. You can put it wherever you want, but I'm thinking I'm thinking somewhere right in there would probably be the best composition. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, fade out just a little bit of this bottom part. So I'm just going to get a brush, just a regular round brush. Um, and we'll just get a layer mask and just kind of paint out this bottom part of this hill. It's going to be pretty blurry, so you're probably not going to be able to notice too much of this uh, feathering here. But I'm just getting rid of this bottom part of the hill 
And so it kind of merges into the background. Now the color is way off. Um, the color is like gray. There's no saturation in, in it at all. So let's just go ahead and add a little bit of color to it. A color balance adjustment layer should be fine. Um, we'll just go and add some reds, add some yellows. We can even add some greens. Let's go to our shadows and try the same thing. We want to make it a little bit brighter though, because it's you know it's it's in the in the background. It should be brighter. And then our highlights are not that important, but something like that. Okay, so we added a little bit of color, but it's still too too dark. And so I want to do a levels adjustment on it as well. And then we'll just bring up those midtones and those highlights, something like that. And while we're at it, we'll just go ahead and add just a little bit more the right color here there we go that looks a little bit better um so just levels adjustments colored um color balance until you get a nice little uh blend there and i'm going to move them down just a little bit now i did make my cross actually green as well i don't want my cross to be green um, so i'm just going to go to my levels adjustment here and just erase uh, this part of the cross because I don't want a green cross. That's just gonna be a little weird here um, But we'll just go ahead and do that and now we've got our color back and It did get a little bit of those other clouds I'm just going to make one more selection white and then bring those whites up like that. Okay, you can see the difference there um, So that's fine. We have a nice cross background, but there's no really clouds in the sky It looks kind of boring. So that's where these clouds are going to come in put those behind the sheep and uh, we're just going to kind of stick these uh, right over our cross, change it to multiply. Um, yeah, that's fine. But we, we're just going to have to make sure that the uh, they're not quite as bright. So something kind of like that. I don't want to lose that cross with, you know, with the dark clouds. I guess we could blend it like this. Yeah, let's do it like that. Let's don't put it behind the cross. Let's put it right above the cross. Something kind of like that. And then we'll just layer mask out the bottom part of those clouds. Good enough. Okay, I hope I haven't lost anyone yet. Hopefully this is fairly simple uh, so far. Um, and so now what I want to do is I want to take all of those layers, the, the sky, the cross, put all of those into one layer. So we'll just merge all of those together. So now they're all together. See, they're all together. And then we want to add uh, some blur to it because if you look at our original image, you see this nice little uh, lamb here um, in the background, these, these trees back here, they are out of focus. And so if that is true, then these this background should be out of focus as well. So I'm gonna go to uh, Blur Gallery, Field Blur, and then I'm just gonna click you know, somewhere right here at the top and just drag my little wheel up uh, to like, you know, 40 to, I don't know, 40 to 50, somewhere in there um, should be pretty good. And then as I get closer down here, I'm going to just make it more like 20 because it's a little bit closer to the camera. So maybe like 20 or 30 down here. But as we get up to the cross and to the clouds, uh, probably around 40 or so. So I think that'll be fine. And then I click OK and we should be a little bit more realistic with our blend. And I think that looks a lot better like that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and save. I'm gonna go ahead and crop my entire image. So I'm just gonna drag a, a selection tool here and do crop. That way it gets rid of all those extra parts of the layers that are floating around, because I don't want those. And uh, that looks pretty good, uh, pretty good start so far. Now let's go ahead and work on our world. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put our world directly on top of this uh, sheep here. So the first thing I really want to do is uh, I want to make a new group and um, I'm going to have this group, we'll call it our sheep shape world group, whatever you want to call it, um, and put a layer mask on it. And what I want to do is I want my sheep to be the layer mask. So let's go ahead and uh, just control click that sheep change your color to black, go up to this layer mask, and then click on that. And now we have a brand new group where um, the, the the layer mask of that group is the shape of that sheep. And put your world in there. And when you turn your world on, oh, we gotta invert that. <laughs> Control I to invert it, there we go. 
That makes more sense. All right, so now we have our world here, uh, which is going to be directly on this sheep. Um, so what I want to do is I want to um, kind of figure out the best spot to put it. We want to make sure we see North America and we see part of South America as well. We want that recognizable color there um, because we want to make it, you know, some, we want to make it obvious that when someone looks at this, they're like, oh, yeah, that's that's the continents uh, of the world. And so we want to make it fairly obvious that that's what's going on. So I'm just going to keep rotating it until I get to about that section there. So I'm thinking like right here can be North America and then over here uh, can be South America. And I think that should be good. You can rotate it however you want. And you can find another picture of the earth if you want of other continents. You know, that's that's perfectly fine. But something like that. Before I hit my check mark, I'm going to go to edit, transform, and warp. And I'm just going to kind of just warp it a little bit to the shape um, of this sheep. So just kind of make, um, just drag this little, these continents. Um, so it kind of fits the contour just a little bit better. So something kind of like that. I think it's going to be good. We'll hit our check mark. And that's not bad. Now let's go up to our group, um, our sheep shape world group, and let's change some uh, our blend mode. So let's try it at overlay. And uh, I think overlay is not going to be strong enough. Uh, or overlay or soft light. You really can't see what's going on in here. So there's a, there's a little bit of an issue going on here. You can't see uh, what's going on. So what I want to do is um, I'm going to have to change it probably to multiply at first. So now we have a multiply layer, um, but that's too dark. And so what we want to do is we want to change this down to, you know, 50% or so, something like that. And then what happens when we duplicate this and then we change our group to overlay, it's going to make a little, it's going to look a little bit better and uh, or, or soft light, you know, whatever you want to to do it. So maybe our, our multiply can be at like 20 to 30 percent. Somewhere in there. Well, you know, you can play around with your sliders, but 20, let's let's call it 25 for now. Um, and then our soft light uh, group is going to be at 100 percent or you could do overlay. I think overlay is just too intense. So I'm going to do soft light for now. Uh, and so when you zoom in, you can see you can see that all of the, the little um, pieces of the sheep, the, the fur, the wool, and all that stuff, uh, all of that's coming through. So you can still see that. So it looks like it's actually painted on top of the sheep. And so that's pretty good. Now, the issue that you have is all these hard edges. You see the hard edges of the, the sphere of the earth, and it's just this really weird, awkward thing here. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to fix that. And so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, delete that soft light thing uh, layer because we know, we're, we, know what, we know what we need to do. But let's just do it a little bit differently first. So let's go back up to our um, original group here, this one right here, change it to normal. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here in my group and I'm going to grab a blue color like this and I'm just going to start painting on a new layer above all of uh, where these hard edges are at. So right here where these hard edges are at, just like that. As I get further down into the uh, the legs, I'm gonna make sure it's not quite as intense, but something like that, make this blue ocean just kind of go out into the fur. That way, when we change it to multiply and overlay, there's not gonna be that, that hard, you know, weird looking edge there. We're kind of feathering out the world, if you will. Same thing up here, get that nice blue color and go up here to his tail and just paint some blue that are that's already in the scene. That's all we're doing. And then down here by the legs, same thing. Just get that blue color, the ocean color. I'm not going to try to get the clouds because clouds don't really have much color. They're more white. Uh, and so I just want to get that blue color going here, going down into the legs. You don't want to go all the way down to the, the grass with this blue. Uh, but we do want to just make sure that those lines um, of the earth are not as visible as they were. Okay, so here's that before and after. You can see we just got rid of that a hard edge that was going around the earth. And uh, I think that's going to be good. We can always go back and add it, add more if we need to, but I think that's going to be good like that. All right, let's do that same kind of uh, technique where we change this group to multiply and do it at like 25%. Let's duplicate that group, control J to duplicate it. And now let's change this one to soft light and we'll go to 100%. And that looks a whole lot better. We still have some issues with 
we have lots of issues going on here, but that looks much, much better like that. Okay, then we're gonna do is we're gonna put both of these in a group. So now we have a brand new group here. And uh, we're going to put a layer mask on both of these and we're just gonna kind of feather out some of this effect. So I don't want the effect to go all the way down to the legs, uh, all the way down to the ground. So I'm just gonna feather out some of these blue colors here. Cause I don't want it to go all the way down here and even up here on top. Don't necessarily want it to go all the way up here as well. So just feathering out, I've got both of those groups inside another group, and that way I can erase all of that like that. There we go. Very good, very good. I think that looks good. Okay, now what we want to do, it's probably gonna be time to do a little bit of color grading and other effects here. So what I want to do is I want to go behind my sheep and um, I'm going to just add a little bit of uh, sun glare here. So let's get a nice little yellow color. And let's just paint some yellow like right behind him. And let's change it to like overlay maybe or screen. Screen's going to be nice and bright, nice little um, sun glare going here. And then what we'll do is we'll go up to the top as well and get that nice little orange color put it over top of him now and we can change that to screen there we go so make sure we don't get rid of our cross we do want to see that cross in there so try not to get rid of that but something kind of like that now it looks like our sheep's just a little bit more in focus here and if you ever overdo it you can always just go in and kind of tone that stuff down all right, for our actual sheep, I do want to make him a little bit darker. I'm going to do a levels adjustment on my sheep. Let's kind of make him just a little bit darker, a little bit more contrasty, like that. And you can see there's some little issues here, like on his his um, the outside of his body. And so what I'm going to do, and that all come with the selection when we are doing the, the selection with the Photoshop tools. I'm just going to go in and just kind of erase part of his ear, like the, that little blue harsh edge there. I'm just going to erase a little bit of these things. I'm not going to try to get all of them, um, but just try to feather that out just a little bit. Just a regular brush is fine. And then you can see this really hard edge that we have on here. We'll, we'll take care of that in a minute, but just want to get rid of some of those little some of those little problems that we have here. Okay, I'm not gonna spend all the time and go through all that stuff, but um, yeah, another thing we can do is go back up to our group um, here and kind of um, erase part of that top. So we're kind of like making a little rim light where this sun is hitting his back. So it's gonna be a lot brighter up there. here, even where his little chin is. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Now, let's see what we can do for the rest of this picture. Let's do some color grading here. Uh, I'm going to do a gradient map. I'm going to do an orange to, or a purple to an orange. I'm going to change that to overlay. It's a pretty good grade there, but I feel like my background is just a little bit too dark, or I'm sorry, too bright. So I'm gonna go down to my background and try to, ma try to make it just a little bit darker. Like that. But then what I'll do is I'll erase part of that at the middle, make it nice and bright right here in the center, kind of making like a little vignette type look here. There we go. All right, now let's see what else we can do here. I wanna play around with my colors here. I've got these nice little colors on uh, his uh, back here, but I want to just kind of uh, tinker with them a little bit. So I'm gonna get a nice little teal color and uh, change this to overlay. 
and just paint a little bit where these uh, blue oceans are at. I just want a nice little blue, like really nice and teal color here. So I'm just going to paint a little bit of teal highlights here. It's kind of like a color grade, but I'm doing it with a brush. There we go. And I am doing this under my color grade. You see my, my color grade up here. I probably should have done this first, but it's fine. All right. And let's go ahead and paint a little bit on his um, continents here. So let's do a little bit of orange on here. There we go. Just painting a little bit. Just I don't you don't have to be perfect with it. Just painting a little bit on these these continents, making them just a little bit more you know, a little bit brighter, a little bit more uh, detailed here. Like this is some really vibrant paint that was painted on this, this sheep, something like that. Like that looks good. All right, let's go back up to the top. Let's do another color adjustment. I'm gonna go to my yellows, make them a little bit more red by taking out the cyans, bring them over to the yellow, just kind of playing around with these things. Something like that. Let's go to our blues. Let's make them even more cyan. There we go. So now we're doing some little color theory type things here. And our greens, let's make them nice and yellow as well. There we go. All right, I like that. I like the, I like the yellow. I like the yellow uh, background with this nice blue earth here. That looks pretty good. One thing I'm missing though is this nice blue uh, sky. We lost our blue sky with all this color grade. So I'm going to try to add some of those blue colors back in. Overlay. Let's put some blue sky back back up here at the top. Maybe even make it just a little bit more teal. There we go. So that's what we're doing is we're, we're kind of, you know, we're, we're incorporating the blue sky and the blue sheep and just trying to make it kind of harmonize as best we can. Something like that. And then let's get a nice little yellowish reddish color here for our clouds. I'm just using a basic brush. You could use a, you know, you could use a different brush if you want, but just... Just trying to do something like that. There you go. So here's that before and after with the sky. You may like it. You may not like it. Um, but I think that looks looks pretty good. Like that. Uh, any other color grade? Oh, another thing I like to do, if you if you've watch my tutorials, you've seen me do this. Brightness and contrast at the very top. Brightness and contrast. Um, and then go to image and then apply image. And it's going to apply that image to your uh, layer mask, which is pretty good. And then what I do is I go ahead and just take down my brightness, just like that, bring that down nice and low. And then maybe bring my contrast up a little bit. Because what that's doing, it's only affecting the white parts of the image. And then I duplicate that, Control J, and then Control I, which is going to only affect the black parts of the image. And then we bring those up. And then we can bring those over as well, a contrast over. Um, and so if you put both of those brightness and contrast in, you kind of get this little painterly effect. Sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it doesn't look as good. I'm in the middle if I like it or don't like it. I'm not sure. But that's a that's that's one way to uh, kind of play around with stuff like that. Um, anything else I want to do? I think that's pretty good right there let's do one more thing and then we'll call it a we'll call it a day here i'm gonna do a divide blend mode on top of everything get my nice little uh, orange color here that we see in the sky i'm sorry sorry i did that wrong the blue color that we see here and i'm going to just paint over some of these uh continents again with my divide blend mode using a blue and we're going to kind of make these continents just like really really bright really bright so we're kind of like making them glow a little bit. You don't have to do it for the entirety of the continent, but 
you know, wherever you think looks good. Just making them glow a little bit, make them very, very vibrant. They're almost as vibrant as the clouds in the sky. Just kind of like that. Oh, let's go and get the Caribbean too. There's the Caribbean islands right in there. Make sure we get Florida. And so here's that before and after with that little glow on there. You know, you might like it, you might not like it. It's up to you. And uh, I wouldn't try to make, I don't know if making the ocean glow is going to be very good, but we can try it. If we do too much, it's just it's not going to look as cool anymore. But yeah, I don't like that as much. So I'm going to, I'm just going to leave it on the, on the um, continents for now. Like that. I might even tone it down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing else that is really left to do is if you want to make, if you want to go in and, you know, kind of get rid of these, these little, um, this, this, these hard edges here. Sometimes those hard edges are a little bit of a pain um, because you're dealing with fur, you know, on a, um, a complicated background. Um, but there, there's ways to do that, but I'm just not going to go over that in this tutorial. Um, but yeah, you could certainly, you know, try to, to go in there and clean that little edge up a little bit. Another thing you could do, I don't know if that I would do this, but you could go to, um, your blur tool, kind of blur the outside edge because, you know, he's further away from the camera. So if you blur the, the back edge of his, his fur or his wool, um, that could be good as well. I don't know if that's the best way to solve that problem, but you know, that's still something that you could play around with. Um, are we done? Are we done? I think we're done. Put everything in one group, uh, control or one layer, control shift, control alt shift and E will stamp it to one layer. You got one layer of everything on it. Uh, and then we can do a um, other high pass, change it to about three pixels is probably fine. And then overlay and it'll make it nice and sharp uh, for your image. And uh, I think that should be good. But guys, that's all I got for today. Just a fun little picture. Uh, we got this little lost sheep here in the front. Um, and then we have the cross in the background. Uh, kind of a, a little bit, bit of a theme going on here is uh, that Christ died for the world. He died for the lost sheep. Um, and so I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope this is, inspires you to make your own images as well. Uh, but that's all I got for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again at the next video. Thanks, guys.